What's up, guys? We're at the Knott's Berry Farm Boys and Berry Fest. They've got a whole bunch of food items that we're gonna try out, and uh, they all have boys and berries. So they're probably gonna be terrible, and I hate boys and berries. All right, let's do it. Here it is, this is the chicken cordon bleu. Wait, let me, sorry, let me be professional here. Uh, this is the chicken cordon bleu with the boysenberry cheese sauce. And then this is the mini crab roll sushi with the boysenberry aioli. So, I think we're gonna begin where everyone wants to begin when they have uh, theme park food that is just randomly filled with uh, random berries in it for no apparent reason other than the fact that they want to have a festival devoted to the berries. So here we go. Here's, uh, this is going to be my personal hell. This is chicken cordon bleu with a uh, cheese boysenberry sauce. Doesn't that look tasty? All right, here we go. There's like a slight hint of boysenberry in there. Oh, and also it looks like there's a huge thing of cheese in the center. That's great. <clears throat> that's that's pretty foul. That's that's ex ex exceptionally foul. That sauce has no business being on this at all. Ugh. Getting like the aftertaste of it. <coughs> wow, that's it's like it's slightly cold too because it's been like sitting out, just waiting for people to order it. And I bet you nobody is ordering the chicken cordon blue, <laughs> the boysenberry cheese sauce. So it's like slightly cold and like you can tell it's been like cooked a while ago. And, Oh man. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is for me. I feel bad wasting one of my tastings on this, but yeah, this is just terrible. Yeah, this is like wildly bad. <laughs> Chicken canon blue. That is a this is zero out of five. All right, next one. Mini crab roll sushi with boysenberry aioli. I don't really know what an aioli is. Let me just show you something. Do you see that little thing right there? I think that's supposed to be wasabi. I think this, this Yoda colored substance is supposed to be wasabi. It's kind of like dark green. And like, I guess this is supposed to be ginger? I guess, I, I don't know. Look at that though. Just look at that. This is definitely shit that's been sitting out for quite a long time. I don't think people order this very much. Oh God, you wash my hands. It smells so bad. It smells like imitation crab. I'm just wondering where like the actual boysenberries are. I don't taste it at all. It's like it's like a grocery store sushi. You know, nothing special or anything, but it's fine. Like if you're craving sushi and you want, I don't even taste the boysenberries. Is, is the really weird part. If there are boysenberries.
no no boysenberry taste whatsoever. I don't know where this aioli is they're talking about, but I don't taste it whatsoever. It's a three out of five. Easy. I'm starving. Let's get more food. and plate number four. For my next plates, what I got was the all beef meatballs and the boysenberry barbecue sauce on mashers. And I also got the trio of sausages with pepper onions on boysenberry polenta. Okay, let's try some trio of sausages. I don't know what polenta is. It tastes like um, it's like a, a kind of like oatmeal with like a slight hint of boysenberry, I guess. But it's more like it reminds me a lot of grits. The sausages are pretty good, nice. And one of them's really spicy. Not bad. I would say it's pretty good. It's funny. I can't. I don't notice boysenberries in this whatsoever. I haven't really had anything with a very strong boysenberry taste so far. Okay, so trio of sausages, four to five. It's been the most serviceable plate so far. All right, this one looks probably like it's gonna be the new best. This is the all beef meatballs and the boysenberry barbecue sauce on mashers. Mashers are mashed potatoes. These smell like boysenberry. And taste like boysenberry. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, that is so strange. It just tastes like grape jelly on meatballs. That is not supposed to go together. Why would they do that? Oh, oh, just smelling it. Oh my God. They look so good, but once you eat it, it's so bad. I almost want to just finish it because I'm hungry, but this is revolting. Oh, I'm gonna give that a three out of five. Just, I mean, it's, I, I really don't like it, but again, on based upon the scale of what we've had so far and what the offerings seem to be, I feel like a three out of five is pretty reasonable. It would usually probably be a two out of five, but I can go with three out of five for this. We're grading on a curve here because everything seems to be pretty lackluster so far. No, thank you. Next one. Okay, here we go. This is the big ticket item that everyone's been telling me about. This is the, the thing that I supposedly had to try. This is the very famous and super exclusive boysenberry filled donut, open-faced breaded chicken sandwich 
topped with a bacon, jam, and arugula. There it is. Of course, this is nice and cold and has been sitting out for a while, which is seems to be par for the course here. So if you're looking for a fresh chicken sandwich, that's not happening here. I also have no idea how to eat this. Can I just quickly throw that out? I have no idea how one's supposed to actually do this. I guess you just kind of take this and sort of like stuff it in your face. You know, that shouldn't work. Mm. So, I think the, the, the donut's completely inconsequential to this. I think it's mainly the chicken that's just saving it. Like it's a pretty good sliced chicken, but it's not. It's obvious because we're at Knott's Berry Farm. That's pretty much what they do: is fried chicken and stuff. This little sauce they have on here, the bacon and whatever it is, it's pretty nice. I like that a lot. I think that that's uh, that's the saving grace here. I think the the donuts kind of just whatever. You know, you can't really taste the boysenberry in any of these things. The boysenberry has been like very, very subtle and pretty much all that. So I would say that I can give it like a like a four out of five for here, you know? Again, you gotta take my ratings with a grain of salt. It's about one less than what it would be outside of the park, so that's usually gonna be a three out of five, something like that. So interesting, I guess. Not something I would get again. final dish of this lovely journey through the culinary world that is Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival. We've made it and we have our final dish which is the much foretold, the legendary chicken dumplings and a boysenberry wonton with rice pee off and a teriyaki dipping sauce. I got my teriyaki dipping sauce on top because I roll like that. I don't know that nobody told me how to do stuff. So I'm very confused because I thought I was gonna get dumplings like you get in like a Chinese restaurant. But these do not look like that at all. They look very strange. I guess maybe these are like southern dumplings or something. So wait, where, where's the, I don't wanna get shocked by this. Where's the boysenberry in this? Boysenberry wonton. What's the wonton? Is that the, the outer wrapping? Yeah, it's the wrapping. That's uh... That's gross. The wrapping is purple. Oh God, that's not my favorite. I just feel like all of these dishes could have been like way better if they just didn't include the boys and berries, you know? I think really anything here could have been fine or been improved by the getting rid of the boys and berries. Nothing I've had has like 
been elevated by the inclusion of the berries. So I don't know. I, I know that the, the boys and berries was the theme of the event. But I feel like they should have put more effort into it, you know? It's kind of like, you know, how one year in, um, like, Iron Chef or something, and you have a secret ingredient, and then you just kind of crumble it on top or something. How the chefs get mad at you because you're not really incorporating the secret ingredient. You're just, like, putting it on top. I feel like that's what the case is for pretty much all this stuff. They, had, they were forced to work with the secret ingredient. And so they just threw random stuff together and were just like, ah, we'll just put boys and berries in it. Why? Why is this chicken dumpling purple? You know, there's, there's a reason, like, you know? There's, there's a reason why food isn't purple. It's because it looks like it's rotten. You know? It just looks gross. These dumplings. Three out of five. It's they're not very good. Which is a two out of five in the real world. I'm just not I haven't really been impressed by anything. And I don't think there's much that I missed. Honestly. A lot of the it looks like there's a big menu on here, but most of the items they duplicate at the different places. I didn't try any of the alcoholic beverages. I probably would have liked this more if it had a slight buzz, I assume. I think it's probably what they're banking on is that everyone's drunk enough to actually think that this food is palpable. Um, I didn't have the cowboy chili with mac and cheese. Maybe people would like that. Uh, I didn't have the elote and I didn't have any of the dessert stuff. There's lots of dessert stuff which I assume probably incorporates the flavors better because you know dessert boysenberry makes more sense right? I didn't have the boysenberry barbecue chicken pizza. I was thinking about getting that. There's a chocolate cake. Uh, there's a pozole that I didn't get that might have been interesting. And that's pretty much it. There's also a salad that I didn't get. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We, we got pretty much the full, the full thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, my rating. I would say overall, um, Overall, Boysenberry Festival at Knott's Berry Farm, I'm gonna give you a two out of five. And that's in general. Two out of five, interesting if you wanna try it. I would say kind of forgettable. For 40 something dollars, I got six different tasting things. So all that was like 40 something dollars. I guess it's not a bad deal if you want to get some alcoholic beverages with it and stuff too, but anyways, when this comes out, it's going to be already over. It doesn't really matter, but anyways, uh, that's it. That's my review. Stay away. No good. Good soup. Good soup. Good soup.